Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Sonia. In today's video, I am going to share with you my green card interview experience. So, my green card interview happened last month, that is May 2019. Uh, so, this is kind of pretty late. So, you will get a ton of information if you watch this entire video. So, please stay tuned. And before getting started, I would like to tell you something that I am not an expert or a professional in this area. Uh, nor am I an authority. All I am is a person who have actually experienced this process. So I would, I thought I should share this with you because uh, we don't have much information regarding that if you search in YouTube. So I thought this should be done for all those people who come in for green card interview. So this is going to be an employment based green card uh, process. I'm looking onto my notepad. I have noted down all the points here, so I don't want to miss anything. So that's why I'm looking down sometimes. Uh, so this is going to be employment based and the applicant is my husband. I'm just his dependent. And um, we were in L1A and L2B category and uh, we were in EB1 category uh, for green card processing. And we have one daughter uh, she is seven months old now and um, she was born here in US so she is a citizen so our green card interview happened in USCIS office in Cincinnati it was on a Monday and our scheduled time was 10 15 a.m. we reached the office at 9 45 a.m. Uh, there was security check at the front door itself so this is USCIS uh, building we are talking about there will be security check so you have to consider the time before you come uh, before you come because this will take some time and then we were directed to the office so we went to the office at the office there was a registration counter there was an officer sitting there we had to go in there and actually show our IDs and the interview letters there uh, so the your officer scanned uh, and ended our details and that uh, makes us checked in to the process. So we seated there. Um, so there was me, my husband and our little daughter. Um, so we seated there uh, and at 10.15 a.m. that is on the right time the officer came from inside and called our names. So we went in. Uh, with him so I didn't know the same officer would be doing the interview process we just accompanied him inside and he took us to a room the only people in there was us uh, we and the officer so he said I'm going to interview today and uh, let's be seated that's what he told at first so we seated there and um, then started our uh, interview so first the officer asked for our IDs and passport so we handed over both of our IDs and passport passports to him and then he said like the camera is recording everything and we needed to take an oath with him so he told us the oath we repeated after him but the crux of that oath was like this whatever we are saying or presenting in front of him is uh, true to the best of our knowledge that is the gist of it but um, I don't really remember the exact words but we have to do the oath that is the first thing we did and he said a camera is recording everything that, that we are telling there um, so that is that was the first thing that happened and um, again the f first he questioned my husband because this is an employment based interview so actually the um, questions go to the applicant some more questions go to the applicant um, obviously so um, so the questions he asked to him was um, what is your job what is your job title which company are you working with how long have you been with them what is your typical day at work when did you enter USA last time so he actually said the correct date the exact date when the officer asked me i actually said the month and year um, so i think that is okay he didn't say anything so month and year would be fine if you can give the date that is also fine too but it is i don't think it is uh, really a problem and he asked what address are you staying 
uh, and he asked for address proof so we had utility bills and apartment lease um, then the officer asked to my husband if he had any driving violation tickets like uh, any tickets driving tickets so he had but it was long ago but he said yes I had um, and he actually explained the details that is one thing I think is very important in the syndrome you need to be very honest because most of the questions and most of the details the these officers already have all they are asking is to check whether you are saying the right thing or the honest thing so he said yes um, i had and he explained about the tickets i think he had two tickets so he explained about it but it was like five years ago uh, but he still said yes and he honestly explained everything if you are the applicant and if this is the employment based uh, interview you need to actually uh, do some homework because you will get more and more questions so everything about your company will be asked so and the job you are doing those were actually very very detailed questions and the answers were also detailed so uh, please take care to do some homework before going to the interview then the officer started asking the yes or no questions from the i-485 form of part 8 so you have already filled that in the application and you have probably marked everything with no as an answer in this application i-485 part 8 yes or no questions you need to once you are going into this interview you need to go through all those questions and we may feel like oh they are not going to ask all these questions we may feel like that but take my word they will ask each and every question of it each and every yes or no question so the second questioning was to me the spouse the dependent so he also he asked my full name so i gave my i said my full name and then my date of birth was verified and he asked whether i am employed or not i used to work but i'm not working right now so i said no so then i i think that ended all the questions in that direction so nothing was asked about it and then the questioner from the same i-485 part 8 the yes or no questions came so about the yes or no questions for me everything was no um, because basically the questions are like have you done like human trafficking have you done um, um, human trafficking have you done prostitution um, basically they are offenses so obviously the answers will become no and i feel about that question is that um, if we have done anything like that we will not be sitting in that interview room to get interviewed so that is my personal feeling about that questions but they questions are very important we have to an oath that we are not saying any lie on their face we said we are going to be honest so these questions really want us to answer uh, that but there are like some personal choices questions like uh, have you worked for communist party in any country or in this country i really don't know what happens if you say yes for that because that is kind of a personal choice but for me it was no so i could say no for it so all answers for that question that part is uh no for me uh, and for my husband too so that is i-485 part 8 the yes or no questions please read all those questions and see what you have already given in that application and just um, keep in mind what you have answered there so no was our answers for all the questions then uh, so when the officer is asking about that yes or no question give time for the officer to complete that question and give your answer about baby a baby's passport and birth certificate was asked and he actually took a copy of that and it was verified and to both of us to me and my husband he asked whether this is our only marriage and is this the only baby we have uh, we said yes for that question uh, so the one important thing you have to keep in mind you have to take your kids with you uh, for this interview process it is not an option it is a compulsory thing you have to take your kids with you doesn't matter how old your baby is so please uh, bear that in mind 
some of you already have attorneys uh, for the interview so you already have the information or you already know what you need to do but at the same time um, but some of you don't have so that is why I'm reiterating some of the points um, so and during the course of interview the documents were all the documents were handed over there was like ton of documents the documents from doctor the other documents like utility bills apartment lease and then um, our employment based um, all uh, forms and uh, tax forms tax file forms uh, bank statements all the documents were actually handed over during the process finally the officer said your application is approved and he said you can apply for the citizenship after five years and he gave the approval notice for some of our friends this uh, this didn't happen like the approval notice was not given later it was updated in the uscis website but for us the notice was given and he asked whether we had any questions we didn't have any questions we was so happy more than happy by hearing it is approved because we didn't expect it that to be said in the interview itself so that was a very exciting moment um so we were happy we took our baby back the uh, the officer accompanied us back to the door and he said we can expect uh, the green card to be arrived in our mail as i said earlier this interview happened on a monday and we got the green card on that same friday so all it took was just four days so that was pretty fast pretty fast so they're that fast and i think the employment based green card interviews uh it all depends on your case basically but the employment base it's it's more kind of a genuine cases coming up so i think um, it will be approved that is my uh personal feeling about it one confusion i had before going to the interview was what i should wear should it be too formal was my question actually my husband he um was in the formal dress the suit and the um blazers that was his uh his attire but me when i thought about it i thought it would be too much and i st uh, stick with the casual dress um and not flashy casual dress um and I think that was a good decision because I saw people coming in jeans and uh, you know some casual dress but neatly dressed that is all you need and I think the case the whole process depends on your case so there is actually no point in wearing a dress or stressing on to the point where your attire needs to be a very formal or very um, executive that is not the point of this interview i think so so don't stress over such things just uh, concentrate on the other things like the documents and the questionnaire based on your questions um, like that i hope this video helped you really well i wish all of your interviews to go really well and get that approved real fast and if you like this video please hit the like button share with your friends and subscribe to my channel I have a lot of videos coming from USA. Thanks for watching. Bye. Take care.